Hi everybody, it is January 16, 2019. I am starting this video with a picture of a cell tower, a cell tower, which is different from a Gwen tower. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because um, I got a comment from someone who didn't know the difference. The Gwen Towers, as you can see, they are higher than our cell phone towers. They have copper wires coming down to the ground in a 360 radius. They emit extremely low frequencies through the ground, but they can also emit the frequencies into the atmosphere. But you can see the difference between a Gwen tower and a cell tower. Okay. Um, cell towers do not emit extremely low frequencies through the ground. Microwave radiation. Both are extremely dangerous, but uh, yeah, that's that's the life that has manifested and well, it doesn't seem that we're going to be able to get rid of them. And let me tell you, boy, uh, something is happening, well, to a lot, to a lot of you, reading the comments, to your dogs, cats, um, to your sons, your children, and yourself uh, related to these frequencies that is really it's not shocking to me but in the seven years that I've been posting I cannot tell you how many people have become sick from these frequencies they're going from asymptomatic to symptomatic. The cumulative effect. That's why reducing your exposure as much as you possibly can. Forget about the convenience. Break the habit of carrying that cell phone everywhere into every store. You don't need to talk to anybody when you're in the supermarket. Um, because what you're doing, you are a danger to yourself. What I have, and I've experienced this before, periodically, this burning sensation across my upper back. It went away for a while, but it has been a constant but only at night for the last week or 10 days. Right now, as I'm speaking, it feels like my upper back is burning. Last night or early this morning, like 4, 4 a.m., I got hit with a tone pulsating in my right ear that was very different from what I have experienced. It was a low tone, not high, low. Never heard it like that before, but boy, did it, my ear hurt a whole lot. Today, for a couple of hours, I experienced my normal self physical self, which means I don't feel, I'm, I've not felt good in God knows how long, but I wasn't racked with pain, physical pain. About two hours ago, when the burning started again, my, across my upper back, I, the pain that I'm experiencing 
I'm getting more and more subscribers either leaving comments or emailing saying they're done they can't they can't do this anymore they can't live the way they are living and I want to tell you I completely identify it is extremely hard and I am saying this not for you to respond to me in any way I'm saying it because people need to be free to speak how they feel without fear of judgment I completely understand no life has really become something that it wasn't for so many people it's very very difficult very challenging to get through each day um, and I really do want to turn my attention to just posting videos uh, trying yeah we're not gonna make it doing this alone and there are a lot of you guys that are in need of help you need help I get it I would love to figure out a way to organize the quote-unquote awake crowd so that we could help one another support one another put in you know like a pool of donations so that when people are really struggling that we could reach into that pool and help help those who really need it and I will say that I have never felt so useless in my entire life I don't I wish that there was a way that I could help you know I and frankly if if we got something going I know that I would feel so much better it would inspire me it would be the the kind of energy that I really need really need so I'm going to be bringing my attention to that and um, posting videos addressing comments but I do want to once again ask you guys in California what is going on so I post a video earlier um, you know showing the chaff you know that was uh, over Evansville Illinois and Maine uh, on radar it was picked up on radar but there was no rain so I wanted to know even though you know I was showing a whole lot of precipitation and it looked like heavy storms um, in Northern California but this no longer is you know an indication of what's happening a few of you left comments saying not much happened in fact one in Northern California um, pretty high up next to the Oregon border she said God what did you say <laughs> shoot I forgot but I think she said that there was like no precipitation but meanwhile look at these storms so what is going on in Northern California uh, yeah you can see these lovely extremely low frequencies that they do use um, to modify the weather um, it doesn't look like any more developed in the Pacific for the two days of storm that you will be getting Los Angeles you seem to have beefed up your 
precipitation here and look at these extremely low frequencies. Very dangerous, these frequencies crossing. They're crossing one another. So I really do want to hear from you guys. Please let us know what is happening because, you know, I'm doing uh, research. I, I can't find anything on YouTube. But what am I getting? Well, you had an earthquake, several actually, in the East Bay area or the Bay Area, 3.4, early this morning, and it was only seven miles deep. Well, you have an awful lot of extremely low frequencies being set off right in that area. Um, a lot of people, 2,000 people, were writing into, I guess there's a Twitter page, did you feel it, or the USGS, did you feel it map? Um, well, people did feel it. One person said that it sounded like a, a uh, freight train going by. But no injuries. Nothing happened. A 19-car pileup leaves 35 injured. Not very serious injuries. Look at this sky. Wow. Look at this this uh, straight-edged cloud. Well, this is not Mother Nature. This is the geoengineering, the weather modification, the frequencies all being used. 19-car pileup uh, in Southern California. The freeway, it was Interstate 15 over Canyon Pass, 9.30 a.m., moderate to minor injuries. And they said that the roads were slick, slippery. So, look at that sky. And frankly, we might be looking at a Gwen Tower right here. Um, look at this sky. That is not your normal, natural sky. That is manufactured cloud. So um, the heavy fog, slippery roads contributed to the crash. Nearly the entire state of California was under a storm watch Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. Okay, we have been living now, certainly the past year, of listening to mainstream media as if they are drama queens, hype up storms, hurricanes off the coast of Mexico that are going to be going through deserts and the hurricane's going to be going through Arizona and on up to Utah and then make a right-hand turn, go all the way across the country and create havoc. And nothing happened. Nothing happened. We're hearing that an awful lot. Do you think people who are refusing to um, acknowledge reality, you know, the willfully ignorant, do you think that they're getting that mainstream media media has just, it, it's like, why bother watching it? Because, well, certainly in relation to the weather, their forecasts, they're almost always wrong. Wrong. The few comments that I got, people were saying, no big deal. Doesn't mean that something won't happen later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, this is the, I, I just want to show you this, unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this. So this is on SF Gate. San Francisco Gate, their website, mainstream media. This is the radar that they are posting on their site, and nobody sees what's happening here. This is really, are we going to say that this is like a natural uh, weather front here? 
really? How these extremely low frequencies are intersecting, crossing one another, and making a beautiful uh, pattern. This is not Mother Nature. So we have an awful lot of people who are simply ignoring what is right in your face. All of it manufactured. All of it manufactured by man. And you'll see all of the extremely low frequencies. I'll leave the link to everything if you want to come over here. Check it out. Orville, here you go. You got them uh, also coming out of other areas closer to the coast. Um, this is life, guys. We're going to be surrounded by people who either don't give a shit about anything or they will continue to willfully choose ignorance and they'll become more and more hostile about it. I am getting comments from a lot of you who are experiencing weirdness, discord, tension, abandonment, relationship, whether family, friends, a whole lot of you have had the experience and are still experiencing, like what the hell is going on here? And I got a comment from someone who, it really kind of broke my heart. It was her birthday two days ago. No one called to wish her a happy birthday, not in her family, none of her friends. Um, no one in her family ever reaches out, calls, nothing. They just claim nothing's wrong, but it's almost like you've been abandoned, but they're pretending everything's fine. You know, look, I never thought that the American people were all that well. You know, you're not well when you are well adjusted to a deeply disturbed society. Um, so, because we do have a majority of people who just refuse to grow up, refuse to do any work on their own self, um, they remain children. I think these frequencies exacerbate a lot of their issues. And, you know, the lack of moral core that they might have been able to conceal, now they're not even concealing it and they just don't even care. You know, unfortunately, they have the support to continue these behaviors. We are kind of left isolated and very, it's very difficult to find any support now. Where do you find support? When you're isolated. And so many of us are so far away, not even, you know, 3,000 miles away in California. Uh, all over the world. I have subscribers in Britain, in Scotland, in, um, I shouldn't have mentioned any of the countries because I can't remember the country names of other subscribers, but yeah, I'd love to be able to just be around all of you, you know, because it's the right kind of energy. I wouldn't be having to constantly dig deep within myself to just try to keep going and it just would be inspiring um, instead so many of us are completely alone 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so we have what actually appears to be chaff. <laughs> um, let me know what's going on, guys. You know, these frequencies are really, the cumulative effect is really very hard. And I have completely, you know, there's nothing else I can reduce. I mean, there's nothing I even have. Um, my internet is hardwired. I don't have Wi-Fi. I, I don't have a smartphone or an iPhone. I have a flip top and I even hold that on speaker away from me. But I am saturated in an area. I, I'm, I'm, you know, the, the, the density of cell phones, Gwen towers, antennas, Wi-Fi, smart meters. Uh, I, there's no escape. So while I would love to sound upbeat and fine and yada, 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 I'm not. That's the truth. And I'm not going to lie to you, and uh, nor should I be afraid to speak my truth, my experience. And I'm saying that because I get people apologizing for telling me how they're feeling. Don't apologize. You have nothing to apologize for. We've got to get out of that psyche, you know, that says, oh, we've got to be positive and we have to, you know, always be, uh, hey, I got it all together and, um, and I'm just feeling fine because, oh, God forbid, I should, I should expose what's really going on inside me. I think a lot of people are afraid that they're going to be judged. They'll, they'll be uh, abandoned. Um, they won't be liked. Well, you're not going to get any of that from me. What you're going to get is my respect and that you can be honest, that you have the strength to just be honest and be who you are. But, oh, well, that reminds me, an awful lot of people more and more are writing. I don't know who I am anymore. I, it's like, I've lost a part of me. I, I, I'm not myself anymore. I have been experiencing that for years. And I do think that that is also related to the microwave uh, frequencies coming from cell towers, the extremely low frequencies for sure coming from Gwen Towers, and it's very disconcerting living, feeling like you're just not yourself anymore. It, it, it feels like you're just not quite comfortable in life, and I'd love to hear from you guys how you're feeling. If you identify with anything that I've said, uh, I do want to hear from you guys. What the hell is going on in California? What is happening? You know, the burning sensation is quite painful. Um, the symptoms that I experience on a daily basis are, it's just like a long list, but look at what's happening on the coast here. South Carolina, right in, right through the entire coast of South Carolina, all the way on up, North Carolina, microwaves, intense microwaves being shot off with an extremely low frequency shot as well. Very dangerous. 
world that we're living in today. Very dangerous. You, of course, have your extremely low frequencies being set off in uh, Southern California. It looks like you're being absolutely pummeled, but it's interesting what's happening right here. What the hell is this? Did you see that? Let me uh, zoom in. Yeah, and slow it down because that looked pretty, pretty, uh, I don't know, I've never quite seen precipitation act quite like it. Look at this. Okay. Here it comes in. Right here. It's wild. Chaos. Turbulent. Extremely low frequencies. But this area right here and then it just, well, you can see the extremely low frequencies that start in the precipitation, which is somewhere around Eureka. And then you have what appears to be like a circle, and then it's like a don't know what. This is all being blown apart right here and then you have wacky storm and the loop ends with just this very defined storm area with a red dot right there. Um, held in place. Held in place. Now, I think that the disturbance that you are seeing right here in this precipitation is caused by uh, high frequency heating. That's the red that you are seeing. All right. This was kind of like a just talking video. I really hope that you guys are doing OK. Look at this band of what? All of these dots right here, the red, the orange, the green. What the hell is going on? I do want to tell you about Mike Morales as well as One Pacific Redwood. You might want to check out these channels and subscribe. One Pacific Redwood posts videos and he shows you what is going on with the manipulation of the jet stream and these high, low pressure. The, the uh, barometer Friends. is rising. Yeah, barometer is Amazingly right. enough, as we have a low pressure system moving in to Southern California, we'll take a look at the surface analysis map here in a second, but we can see a right angle imprint, which has, uh, this is a satellite generated uh, imprint here. This is a uh, heated air. And the reason that these are, uh, the reason this is done the reason this is, is, done, that is that they are separating, weather controllers are separating the frontal system, system from this vortex. And I have uh, a and playlist have on this channel. If you, if you scroll channel, down, if you, if you scroll there, down is a, uh, there is a, uh, one of the uh, categories there the is, uh, there is uh, right angle imprints on these right uh, imprints uh, weather systems. So take a look at that. So take a look at that. Uh, right here we see another example right of this, a giant example. right angle. Giant, this right? is several hundred miles long right several here, this one edge. Right here, this one edge. And what they've done here is they have actually the separated the moisture field, the frontal the system, from this the vortex. From this vortex. And okay, so this was posted on the 13th. It's now the 16th. Um, he concentrates on California. He lives in California. Um, very good channel. I do recommend subscribing. And Mike Morales, 
listen to what he has to say. And this was posted 21 hours ago. Thank you, Mike, for staying on this. Thank you. All right, before we get into all the, all right, craziness, into all the craziness, I want to take you here to the world view. I want to go back to January 9th. Back to January 9th. And those who have and been here with me a long time know that when we see these ship tracks out there, these thick, fat little lines coming out of the, you know, these are called ship tracks. This is bunker fuel. This is the most toxic emissions on the face of the planet. There's regulations for these things. And uh, every time and, we see uh, them, out there, see them out there, there's a huge weather huge change. Weather we've seen it change. before Florence. We've, we've seen it before Florence. Michael. We've, we've seen it before the Paradise before Fires. The Paradise we've fires. seen it before every it before major every storm, storm, every major change. They're out here dropping these ship, ship tracks. Um, I mean, the stuff that they're dropping out is just nasty. It's like... The leftovers of making fuel. So, I mean, it's some toxic stuff. And what they say is they there's regulations on it, but the, the people who regulate it, they ease off on it because they say it helps the global warming. So they let them rip it loose when they need to do a major chain with the weather patterns. And that's why we're seeing them out there because we're getting ready to go into a huge change. And uh, welcome and, in, everybody. Welcome much, love in everybody. much love out there. Okay, so I will link below to everything. Um, I didn't know that, what he pointed out about. Now that that's the cat sneezing away. Um, about the really thick uh, lines that they're more toxic. That is something that I would have to look into. But look at this. Will you look at this, okay? This is not Mother Nature. This straight line of cloud substance. And even from here, you know, once you begin to see all of these, uh, the aerosols being laid, you know, you don't need to zoom in. You know what you're looking at. And what you're looking at is man controlling our environment and our atmosphere and the ionosphere and all of it. Now, in South Carolina today, we actually had, once that fog was lifted, there was no spraying and no clouds, but a pale blue sky, pale blue. Few hours there, I felt halfway decent. Then the temperature changed greatly. All right, well, they're saying the temperature now is 39. It felt like it was, I don't know, 65 today at one point but the temperature changes are so sharp that there was at one point I walked outside tonight and didn't need a jacket it was I was completely fine uh, and I was noting that it was pretty warm happy about it had the windows open about an hour later walked outside it was so friggin cold and it says it's 39 degrees in Anderson I have to tell you either they're just writing out temperatures whatever they feel like but when you go outside you're hit with like this icy air that feels more like it's 20. So I was surprised actually to see that it's 39. Now I'm, I'm from up north, okay? So I am used to really cold weather. I'm in South Carolina now. I go outside and there is a different feel in the air. 
it feels like ice. Yeah. Okay. Really sharp burning sensation. And I feel like I've been beaten up. My ribs are hurting. My neck is so unbelievably sore. My joints are sore. I can't believe that we have to live this. We need support. We need support. How many of you need support? How many of you are really struggling? What do you guys want me to do? You know, I, I just, I, I'm feeling like, you know, I can't be just posting on the latest and greatest you know, of all of the events that are taking place. There's got to be a shift. There's got to be a change. Yeah, I do want to focus my attention on on more of the personal and I'm figuring out a way where we can really help one another instead of having to live this madness so isolated, you know, and uh, and feeling quite alone in terms of what we are experiencing and feeling. Let me know what you guys think.